Hello, 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 my good people. OMG, very, 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 very excited to be streaming in live. And I hope that I am live because I was trying to get situated and I hope they're able to see me on YouTube. You're able to see me on Facebook. You're able to say hello as you hop in. As I said, I was having a bit of technical challenges, but here we are. And we're going to get right into it um, before I introduce myself and get started. Let me know where you are streaming from. I see um, Shiko. Shiko, you managed to log in. Uh, invite a friend, let your um, Sprint sisters know that we are live and let's take it from here. So just really quickly, let me know where you're streaming in from. It's always a delight to see where everybody is streaming in from. Let me know that you can hear me loud and clear before I start. So let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. And as we do that, I just want to verify that it is working at least on uh youtube let's see let me just make sure that we are yes we're there i can see you shiko i can see you jerry said she's waiting and excited to join let me know where you're streaming in from and those who are also joining me from facebook and etc so that means we are live so that's the link uh if you want to share if you've not subscribed to our channel please do and i will get straight into teaching mode because i want to make sure that i cover everything that has brought me here from so waiting for you ladies and sometimes we get a few good gents to join in to say hello let me know where you're streaming in from and a big hello i am in the united kingdom at the moment excellent beatrice i'm happy to hear that someone else say hello let me know that you can hear me loud and clear i just want to make sure that we are um on the right track and that you can you're getting me because what I'm about, whatever I'm about to teach you is going to be very, 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 very potent. But in its potency, I want to make sure that it's received with the same energy that I am bringing it. So let me get started with our presentation and we can start right away. Let me know if you can see my slides. Oh, Pete is from the East Coast. Hey, hey, so how are you? Can you let me know if you can see my slides, please? Just so that I can know that we're on the same page. And today we are talking about seven transformative steps to help you boldly live your vision. Not just your vision, but your big vision. Let me know you can see my slides. I just want to be certain that we're on the same page. Actually, I can also ascertain that for myself by yes awesome thank you pete thank you okay looks like there's a lag from my phone but we should be fine so let's get started seven steps right for me seven steps in the chat as you come in so that i can know that we are together and i just want to say this vision what is vision because it's important that we get to the meat and potatoes of what it is that i'm teaching Vision is not just about seeing things as they are, but as they could be. So when we're talking about vision, it's about how it could be, right? Not what you're seeing right now. And many of us, where we go wrong is we operate with this, this sight that you, you know, what you're seeing in your current circumstances. Whereas, but vision is seeing things as they could potentially be. It's the audacity to dream and it's a courage to pursue and i was teaching a, a class recently where i was talking to the ladies about one of the stories in the bible where david king david was told to uh, overtake and to pursue right and some of you are like what is it that i want to do what is it that i want to see but because of your current circumstances things are probably probably not going the way you'd want them to be you're seeing things with a very myopic vision you're seeing things from a very short-sighted way but today i want Want you to see through the eyes of faith and that's the audacity to to dream the capacity and the courage to pursue no matter what is happening and the unwavering belief that the future can be shaped by the clarity of our imagination and why do i talk a lot about this stuff is because i'm going to give you a few examples as we go down the line about my own life when i think about where i stand right now and where it is that i believe that i'm going a lot of the direction that i believe has led me to where i am has been having 
a very crystal clear vision on what I'd want to see in my life. It doesn't mean that my life is perfect. I don't believe there's perfection in anybody's life. But one thing I know that what has driven me is this question that I've put down here. And if you could put it in the chat, I see you, Juliana. Thank you for joining me from Nairobi. Please write for me. If not now, then when? If you're not taking time to really see how can I thrive? How can I flourish? How can I pursue what has been laid in my heart, right? So I want to, 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 to build into your psyche today that there's a way of doing things that could potentially open doors for you, but you have to have that belief. And this is what we are saying, the audacity to dream, the courage to pursue, and that unwavering belief that the future can be shaped by the clarity of our imagination. So with that uh, said, let's go. Let your vision, what will propel you forward? What, what will move you forward? What will take you into the next direction of what it is that you're dreaming for of and aspiring about? It is your vision that will propel you forward. When I think about my own circumstances in life, many of them um, I'll share, as I said, as we go along. I think what has really helped me not give up is the vision. Sitting here, you know, before as I was preparing for this class and sitting and going back to where my journey has started, not only my purpose journey, but also my journey into personal development work. It had to start with a vision of what it is that I want to see. And many of us are so stuck in the past, so stuck in what not worked, so stuck in what who said, what they did, what they, you know, all the heart that has happened along the way that you've lost sight of your vision, you've lost sight of your dreams, you've lost sight of your aspirations, you've lost sight of what it is that you want to achieve. But today, I want us to speak a different story. I want us to sing a different song. So I want you to say that in the chat, I will sing a different song because once you start recognizing where it is that may be holding you back from flourishing and thriving, then you can be able to be like, you know what? I can take these steps, these steps to move me forward. I can take these steps to help me. So with that said, yeah, the masterclass has officially now begun and we're now ready. I'm happy <laughs> that things are working. The systems are here and all systems going. It is showtime. I was in a class earlier today and the person who was leading the conversation said something. It is showtime. This is the time to sing a different song. This is the time to believe a different belief. This is the time to state what you want to see and then take the action steps to make it a reality. And that's what it is that we're going to do today. So please get rid of all distractions and be fully present for this training. Your future will thank you for it. Not only your future, your right now will thank you for it because it's so easy to come to these things and you're multitasking. You're listening to me and you're listening to the you're watching the news or you're talking to your child and helping them do your homework and you're distracted, do their homework and you're distracted. I would suggest that you gift yourself, um, gift yourself this one hour or so, less than actually, to really help you get clear, get clear, crystal clear on the seven transformational steps that can really help you not only uh, clinch your vision but also help you move forward if you're feeling stuck or if you're feeling like there's that state of inertia so who am i i am joanne muturi life purpose and business coach i help professional women and female entrepreneurs align themselves to their life purpose clarify their life direction and create a purposeful plan of action so that they can live their one royal life with boldness and courage. I want you to live your one royal life with boldness and courage. You do not get two shots at life. So write for me in the chat as we go ahead one royal life. You don't get two shots at it. And that's why I want you to use your creativity. I want you to use your imagination. I want you to use uh, everything within you right now to claim what it is that you want to see. Because once you speak it out, once you start articulating it, once you have the verbiage for it, you're able to call it in, right? Let me tell you this, who am I and how did I understand the power of vision? You know, I was thinking about my journey and I think the story that I want to share at this point is when I was in my corporate job, I worked for the United Nations Federal Credit Union for a good 13 years. And I remember one day, it was Christmas time, about Christmas time, and I was working. 
And, you know, I was in the office, corporate job. I loved my job. I didn't have any issue with my job whatsoever. The only thing is that I knew in my heart, straight, I knew in my heart, I knew in my heart that I was created for greater things. I knew at that time that I was doing what I was meant to do, but something, there was a stirring in my spirit. There was something that kept continuously, literally, it was like a stalker. It was like a guy who was stalking me or something in my mind that just kept telling me, yes, this is great, but there is something greater, right? This is good, but why settle for good when you can go for great? And I didn't know what that meant for me. I didn't know what that looked like. And I remember one time I was going through Pinterest and uh, I was looking at all these destinations, all these uh, holiday things. And it was Christmas time. My family, you know, were meant to travel, were actually uh, went, meant to travel together. But because of, you know, my corporate circumstances, I couldn't travel with them on that day. And I was going to join them, you know, wherever it was that we were going a couple of days later. And I was like, this doesn't sit right with me. Why am I joining my family to three days later. Why couldn't I have been with them from the beginning? And I realized that I felt a certain element of being caged as like, there's a freedom that I'm missing, you know? There's a freedom that I'm missing. There's something that I desire that is beyond this, even though this is good. Why aren't I going for great? So one of the, it's so interesting. One of the books that I love is called um, Good to Great by Jim Collins. Write for me that in the chat and I'd recommend you look for it because most of us are living in good where we could be going for great. And that is what this uh, session today is meant to stir you up. And I'm actually gonna be doing another webinar next week, but today I just want to stir you up, to ask you, you know, what are those things that you need to think about to move you from your current circumstances, but that requires imagination. So there I am on my computer, in the office, you know, looking through all these Pinterest boards. And I'm like, I want to go to Santorini. I want to go to Paris. I want to go. And I would point fingers at all the different destinations. And it tells me some people, this is Facebook user. I would love to read your comments, um, say your name. But unfortunately, I don't know who it is. So if you're on Facebook, just write your name. And I know who it is that I'm addressing. But I want to say, I would point out at all these destinations. And, I, and the only thing that I could do, and, I, <laughs> and it's so funny as I'm giving this story, it's literally I can see myself at that time and that's a power of imagination I remember my Ken, my pastor in Kenya pastor Ambrose saying something once and he said this he told us to close our eyes in one of the preachings and he said close your eyes and see yourself you know at a beach right do that right now see yourself at a beach b-e-a-c-h right see yourself literally sipping a cocktail of your choice close your eyes and do that and as I'm sharing this, I want you to quickly move from the beach and take yourself to a tropical forest. So see yourself walking in a bamboo forest. It's green, very beautiful, and there's a very narrow trail. And the narrow trail that you're walking in, you're literally climbing, going upwards, not downwards, right? And then I'm going to move you from that real quick so that you can see the power of your imagination. See yourself behind the wheel of a red Mercedes Benz. See yourself behind the wheel of a red Mercedes Benz. You know what? It's so potent. Can you see the different scenarios I've taken to you through in less than a minute? That is how powerful your imagination is and how much you can bring into your vision that which you want to see. Can you let me know that you've done that visualization? Just write V for visualization because I want you to see what I'm saying, that you can literally transport yourself to any place that you want to be. All you need to do is to do is to use the power of your imagination. And when I realized how powerful my mind is, I realized that like, I could create my state. I could take myself into whatever state I want to be in. I can see Juliana has done the V. I can see Facebook user has done the V. Who else has done the visualization? Because this is such an important process. And I want you to, to take you through one more so that you can see how powerful your mind is into bringing into actualization the things that you want to see, but it has to start from the imagination, right? So I want you to see Let's see what I want you to see right now. I want you to see a pregnant woman wearing a green dress. And the dress is going up until her knees. Pregnant woman, pregnant black woman wearing a green dress going up to her knees. 
And then I want you to see, take yourself to another scenario, a pregnant white woman wearing a black long dress. Do you see that? And she has blonde hair and blue eyes. See that woman? That's how you can take yourself into this situation. This is how you transport your mind. And where I'm showing you this is when I understood that I can literally create the vision that I want for my life. I said, I'm going to do this or not only, for, I'm not going to do this for myself only. I'm going to take my clients through this process. And that's what, when I sat down and decided I'm going to every year, every year create my annual vision casting event, the Purposeful Next Level Woman uh, vision casting event. And it's happening again this year on December 8th to 10th. I'm going to be talking about this later. But for now, I just want you to see how easy it is to get into the vision of the thing you want, but you have to be so aligned with it. So let's let's get into this. I want you to see what your vision is. And I was writing this and I'm like, yeah, this is it. Let your vision be the compass that guides your journey. Allow it to not only illuminate the path ahead, but to propel you forward with purpose and determination. Your vision, then insert your name, put your name in the chat. So your vision, Juliana, your vision, Beatrice, your vision, Chico, your vision, Pete, your vision, Joanne, put your name in the chat. And I'm going to say your name because I want you to understand that your vision, insert name, is not just a distant goal. It's the driving force that turns aspirations into reality. It's your vision that turns those aspirations, those hopes and dreams into reality. And even by writing these things, you know, when I say write in the chat, I'm not doing it for me. I'm asking you to do it so that you can be able to cement what vision truly is for you. Embrace the transformative power of your vision and let it infuse every step you take with intention and meaning. You cannot separate intention and meaning with vision. You cannot separate vision with intention and meaning. Because for you to create a vision that works, you have to step into it with, in with intentionality, with meaning, and with purpose. So embrace the transformative power of your vision faith and let it infuse every step you take with intention and meaning. And ladies, as you pursue your dreams, ladies and a few good gentlemen, I know there are a few gentlemen who never miss these lives. As you pursue your dreams, remember that the journey itself is a testament to the strength of your vision. Let me talk about the journey because the journey is what has led me to where I'm at. So let me tell you about that vision that I wrote. You know, when I said, this is not right, when back to the, what the example I was saying, why am I still here? And my family has gone ahead of me. I need to change something. I felt like I was constricted. I felt like the, there was an element of my life that needed to shift. And I knew that was linked to one of my core values, which is freedom, right? You know, I loved my job, but it didn't give me the freedom that I needed to do the things I truly wanted to do. And when you understand that, you, you don't take your journey as a joke. You take your journey, each step of where it is that you are, to be a part of what is leading you to the final outcome of that which you want. So never disregard where you're at in this journey. When I think about my uh, start of entrepreneurship, uh, almost eight years ago, it, it just shocks my life because it just sounds like the other day. I was so, so, so determined to make it work. I was like, I don't have a plan B, I don't have a plan C, I don't have a plan D. This is what, this is what I need to, excuse me, this is what I need to do, this is what I need to pursue. And now when I look back, I can see the strength of my vision. That that my, even though my vision, you know, it's like truly, and I'm going to talk about this, the vision is for an appointed time. It has no choice but to turn into reality. It has no choice but to manifest. And that's why I say one of the biggest things I tell my clients, especially as we prepare for the event, is that make your vision a non-negotiable. Write that uh, uh, in the chat. Make I will make my vision a non-negotiable. And I see what Juliana says. That's exactly what she's saying. My vision will turn into reality. When you get that, you understand it has no choice but to manifest. You're not giving it, oh, let's try and see. Oh, hopefully it will. Oh, uh, maybe if this or the other, if the stars align for me, there's nothing like that. It's you 
really aligning to your vision and saying that it has no choice but to manifest. So what do you need to do? You need to step boldly, live passionately, and let your vision propel you to heights you once only dared to imagine. And why I love to use the word dare is because this event used to be called dare before, before we changed it to a uh, purposeful next level woman. It used to be called dare and it was called the dare vision board uh, party, the vision dare, uh, vision dare, vision dare vision board event and it's a virtual event uh my friends it's online it's three days december 8th 9th and 10th it's all online so it doesn't matter where you are and i'm going to talk about that but let me tell you this <laughs> dare was given to me in a dream and do you know what dare stands for and of course we have rebranded re re it a little to purposeful next level woman it stands for dream audaciously yeah receive expectantly write that for me dream audaciously receive expectantly that is what your vision is it gives you the permission to dream audaciously not dreaming little dreams baby dreams or saying oh this little thing and and just being in your little cocoon and shriveling and saying oh let me just times are hard let me not dream big let me not no to dream audaciously means to Say, I'm going to go beyond the limits of what I can see with my physical eyes. And then create a strategy to help you to receive expectantly. And that's what we do in those three days, right? Yes, Beatrice, I see you there. So let your vision be the compass. What's a compass? A compass is the, is the thing that guides you. It's the one that guides your journey. So your vision is what like, guides your life journey. Without a vision, the people perish. And we're going to talk about that shortly, which is this. Where there is no vision, the people perish. You know what I mean? And I want you to think long and hard about this. That's from the good book. Think about it. Where there is no... You know, when I sat down and 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 ferociously <laughs> uprooted this verse, I'm like, I really, really, really want people to to think long and hard about this. Can you think about this? Where there is no vision, the people perish. Yes, the live Sylvia is here. You want to just come back to Facebook and you go to YouTube. Um, it's there. It's saved. The lives are saved. They're recorded. So you can always go back to it and catch the information. So what is vision, my darlings? Let, let me break this down for you. So where there is no vision, what is the thing that I'm saying where there is no vision? Vision is the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. So if you're not planning your life with imagination or wisdom, or having the faculty or state of being able to see, you will perish. Where there is no ability to see from a particular vantage point or position, if you do not step into that vision, you will perish. And what's to perish? Listen, listen to this. To perish is to lose your normal qualities, but worse, it's to rot or decay. So if you're not operating in your vision, which is the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom, you will rot or decay or die. To become destroyed or ruined. To cease to live, to cease to exist. And this is not even the physical death. It's the death of your dreams, the inertia, the dormancy. Have you been in a state where things are just dormant, where nothing is moving? It's because you are not operating within your vision. You're, you've lost sight of your vision. And this is so serious. Think about it. Have you ever felt stuck or felt like, I mean, you know, and that's why we use the stuck in a rat. You're in a position of, 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 of dormancy right? And that's why I tell my clients, we need to bring those dormant, dead dreams back to life. We have to resurrect them. But how do you resurrect these dreams? By having a vision. Because as it says here, where there is no vision, the people will perish. It, it scares the living daylights out of me to imagine that I've been given this work to support people to see, to have that mental image of what it is that they want, to do the work to step into, into the realization of their vision. And some opt not to. And it's a choice. And I always say that, you know, um, I may not necessarily be the coach for you, but that's okay. But with or without me, you need to work on your vision. It's not one of those things that you're like, oh, let me give it a shot or hopefully it's mandated here. 
It's in the Bible where there is no vision, the people perish. This is not Joanne's words. And that's why I take vision work so seriously. And I hope that you're getting what it, the, what it is that I'm saying and the heart with which this comes with and the urgency with which this vision work comes. And let me tell you what, once you realize what it is that I'm saying right here, your life will change and read it for yourself. Let me actually see what it looks like in the Amplified because I'm very curious to hear, to see what it looks like in the Amplified. Hold on. Let me know if this is landing. Right for me, landing. Is it landing or is it not? Let me know that we are together because if you get this, this is like the, the gist of the story of what I'm teaching. Because once you understand the power of vision, your life your life is, is, is not going to be the same. Okay? It's not going to be the same. So let me know if it's landing. Listen. Hmm. Again, this is not my word. Just reading for you what it says. Oh, where have you gone? It's disappeared. Let me just read it again. It's disappearing. Why? There it is. The same. It's landing for you, Jainaba. Oh, hi, Jainaba. Nice to have you. Juliana, it's landing. It's in, and it's landing for me as well. So at least three of us, it's landing. Whoever else it's landing for, I would love to hear it's landing. Listen to this. Where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God, the people perish. But he who keeps the law of God, which includes that of man, which is what you're talking about, is blessed, happy, fortunate and enviable is he listen when you pursue your vision the opposite of perishing is you're going to be blessed you're going to be happy you're going to be fortunate and you will be enviable because people will see that you're not walking around in confusion right you know you're not walking around in chaos you're not walking around saying one thing and doing the opposite the vision is leading you and that's why earlier on in the slides as i said let the vision propel you let the vision lead you forward do you understand what i'm saying yeah so it's landing for quite a few of you so here are three core, core reasons why your vision will not manifest Number one, you are not connected, not to their, to their, yours. You are not connected to your why. Why are you here? What's your big why? If you don't have that core reason that is driving you every single day, that, that you know, that reason that I'm here. When I think about my core reason to serve you, uh, to serve my clients, the core reason to help people really step into their purpose. I always say that my purpose is to help you step into your purpose because the day I literally and came into the fullness and realization of my purpose, my life changed. I can tell you for a fact, my disposition changed. I can tell you for a fact how I operate changed. But if you're not connected to your why, that driving force, you will not manifest your vision because there's nothing that is exciting you. And that's why you see there's a very great corre correlation between you walking in your purpose, you stepping into your vision and happiness and living a life of significance. And the opposite I've seen over and over again has leads to depression. It leads to anxiety. It leads to sadness. It leads to a sense of lack of meaning, right? Because if you don't have a vision for your life, you feel like your life is meaningless and has no significance. And my prayer today is that you will understand why your vision is not a luxury. It is a necessity for you to understand what your vision is. The second core reason why your vision will not manifest is you do not allow, you know, what it is that you want to come to you, right? So you, you say you want something right? I give you all these visions. Write for me something, someone that you're really looking forward to happening in your life, say in 2024. Yeah. Some of you could be, uh, you know, changing a job or moving higher in, a, in your organization. Some of you, it's to be, uh, step into a board position. You know, for some of you it could be to launch a business. You know, for some of you, it could be to have a baby. For some of you, it could be to get your health together. Many of you know I've been on this health journey this year. I've really, really upped my game health-wise and like, I'm reaping the dividends of that. But that's because it was one of the core um, things that on my, was on my 2023 vision board that I really had to take charge of my health. 
So I want you to write, you know, in the chat, what is it that you're looking for as part of your vision? You don't have to write everything. You can just write one thing because when you have, you're connected to that one thing, you're like, this thing, it's a no brainer for me. It has to happen, right? You know, it, whatever it is, some someone else could be like, they, they're going to write a book. Their vision is, I want to be a published author. I want to be a published, to be a globally recognized speaker, whatever it is. I want you to say for Jenaba Health is one. You know, I realized as I stepped into my 40s, it's not a joke. It's not the way I could compromise stuff earlier before a lot changed. But I also realized that as a lot changed, I also had the 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 conviction, that's the word, to be like for me, I was like, how can I be serving clients? How can I be doing all this hard work if the most important thing, which is my health, is not in a good state? So I had to put my foot off the brake for a while and say like put this aside i had gone through some burnout had gone through different things and i'm like and you know just uh, some health issues that i don't have to go deep into here and i'm like you know what this has to change my life has to change and i made it a non-negotiable so my vision was seeing myself releasing the pounds seeing myself really taking ownership of my health, seeing myself stepping up my game and saying that no 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 this is not something to play around with right and then the third thing is you're not in alignment with what you want so you say one thing it's called <laughs> it's called you're releasing chaotic vibrations i tell people you 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 you're living in a chaotic state where you say one thing and you're doing the other so you're saying you want to get into good health but everything you're doing is contrary to that. You're neglecting your health. You're neglecting your, your emotions. You're, you're living in a very uh, stressed environment. You're allowing people to frustrate you. You have no boundaries, right? So you're not in alignment with what you want. So three core reasons why your vision will not manifest is that you're not connected to your why. You know, you do not allow what it is that you want to come to you. you if you want the health to come to you, you have to take proactive steps towards that, right? For me, proactive in the chat. You have to be proactive. You have to get the support. You cannot do it on your own. I always tell people you could have done some of these things on your own. You already would have done it a long time ago. If you could have already achieved all those things that you've been saying, I'm going to tick off, tick off, tick off, you'd have done it by now. But if you've not done it by now, there's a reason. Because perhaps you're waiting for somebody to support you. You're waiting for somebody to help you. And then obviously not being an, in alignment with what you want. So you say you want one thing, but you're doing nothing about it. You say that you want to get out of debt but you're spending all your money as it comes in. You're not even trying to reduce your debt. You're even taking in more debt. You're saying that you want to save more money for your children's education, or you want to save towards a certain thing. And literally the money jumps into your account. It jumps into your account. You, it jumps out, in and out. It's literally like whew, a through pass. It's not even given time to rest. You say one thing, but do the opposite, right? You say that you want to be, to you know, to be in a better relationship, to be in a better union. You know, you you and your partner, but you're doing nothing proactive about it. You're fighting day in day out like cats. You don't look for a counselor. You don't look for therapy. You say we're gonna figure it out on your own, and you wonder why you go through the same vicious cycles year in year out of problems, right? There's no relationship that is devoid of problems, but sometimes you have to look at the problems in the eye and say they cannot sort themselves out. You know, we need external help. We need someone to help us get to the other side of this, but you cannot do that if you do not have the vision of a better relationship, the vision of a better marriage, the vision of being a better parent, right? Learning the strategies and and um, and tips and creating a blueprint that can help support you to be a better parent for your children. Right. And that's part of what we do in this vision uh, uh, casting experience. I'm bringing a parenting coach. Why? Because I believe that for you to be the best version of yourself as an individual, you, you know, and to support your children to be the same, you need to work on you as a parent. Right. So those are some of the things we're doing. We're, I'm bringing someone to complete to talk to you 100 percent of what it really means to get out of imposter syndrome help you see how you can uh, create greater confidence, build your mindset, right? Uh, I'm talking about igniting your vision, going back to what I talked about. People perish, uh, you know, because they have no vision. So I'm going to talk deep into your vision, not just have surface area. I'm going to go deep into this on those three days, December 8th, 9th, and 10th. 
And I want to say this, you know, uh, what, you know, uh, what lessons have I learned along the way in my journey? Because we've talked about the journey, right? Some of the lessons I've learned along the way, my darlings, and I'm going to share this, and I can see Beatrice, Beatrice wants to complete her building, right? She has to have a strategy for that. And these are the lessons. This is the journey that will help you to complete your building, uh, uh, Beatrice. It's the same strategy that will help you get uh, better health, Jainaba, is number one, you have to place a demand on your faith. You have to say, this is what I want. And really go into that space of complete and utter surrender, not you controlling it. You know, I'm looking at my fingers because <laughs> in that picture, my rings don't fit anymore. I almost lost my wedding band the other day. Literally, because of the weight loss, my rings just slide through. They just slide through. So I'm looking at this image and I'm like, I don't have, I'm missing my rings. So they need to be fixed because literally it slipped right through, almost got lost. It was by God's grace I found it. But anyway, that's a story for another time. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, a lot has changed in my life and I can see as a result of taking that proactive effort. And that's why I said you have to be proactive. And what is to be proactive? You have to place a demand on your faith. It's either you 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 say, you know, okay, I'm, oh, I'm going to live in this fearful state where nothing works, where your dreams come to, where your dreams don't come to pass, where you're perpetually looking back. And I talked about this in my 100 day sprint with the ladies, you're looking back at what, you know, what could uh, did not happen. Oh, the, I wish I did this. Uh, swimming in the sea of regret. But if you're operating within your vision, you will not swim in the sea of regret because you'll be like, you know what? I'm up, I know that I have a hope. I know I have a future. I know I can do this. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Jainaba. That's so sweet. Thank you. Jainaba says you're looking fantastic. Thank you, sweetheart. It means a lot to me. But for you to place a demand on your faith, you have to be proactive. What do you need to do? You need to write down a list of this is what I want to see and then literally pray over it. Literally take time and say that what do I need to do to make this a reality and create an action plan for it. So you have to have a crystal clear vision. The way I took you through that closing your eye thing. And then obviously through the three days, I take you through a system and I'm going to talk about this step-by-step -step plan where we're talking about your finances, we're talking about your relationships, you're talking about uh, every, literally, think about this, your space, what type of home do you want to have? What type of environment do you want to create? What type of friendships do you want to have? Because sometimes we may be having friends, but they're not necessarily in, they're not necessarily supportive of what it is that we are doing. You know, you can have quote unquote friends who as you grow, into your purpose and things are working for you and you're expanding, they are contracting because your light is, is just blurring them. They're just like, gosh. And because they're so used to you in a certain way, it's very uncomfortable for them to see you grow. And sometimes some of these friendships just have to drop. It's not like you're ditching people. I'm not asking you to ditch anybody, but, but sometimes friendships just take a natural progression. And sometimes that natural progression is for them too. End. But as they end, I always say nature ab abhors a vacuum. Write that for me in a chat. Hi, Humboldt Smart. Thanks for joining me. Right? Nature abhors a vacuum. So when that vacuum has been created of friendship, guess what? It's time for that to be filled by somebody else. Someone who sees that vision, somebody else who is speaking the same language you are. And that's why I create this event, because many women are seeking the right friendships. Many women are seeking people who get it and are vibing at the same level as them. Ambitious, trailblazing women, women who know what it is that they want, right? And are confident to pursue it. But a lot of people are threatened by this. And that's why I've created that space for you where you can come and just be yourself, right? And create that vivid, broad, audacious, you know, crazy vision because you know that you're supported. I always say big goals need big support. Write that for me in the chat. Big goals need big support. Little goals may not need any support or little support. But if you're one of that person who really wants to get it proper, you need good support. And that's why we don't do this thing for two hours. That's why I don't have the vision creation casting event for two days, for two hours, three hours. It's three days because this is not a joke. You're talking about your 2024. You're talking about what it is that you want to see. It's not something that we gloss over. It's something that we really take seriously, you know, and I'm going to share with you what that looks like. And then 
Number three, a lesson I've learned is you cannot tolerate conflicting thoughts, right? Worry, chaos, stress. It's either you want or you don't want. It's as simple as that. It's either you want your vision to come to life or you don't want. And when we are doing the vision board, I understand. Listen, I may sound like um, boom, 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 but it's because there's something, right, called a chaotic vibration where you're saying one thing and it conflicts and cancels itself, right? It cancels itself. So you're saying this thing and then saying the other, and then it where they meet, there's a clash. So because they clash, it just cancels. So Jennifer says not ditching friends, even the rocket has to lose some. Yeah. Yeah. About I think she means about ditching the friends. Even the rocket has to lose some of the propellers as it goes higher and elevates. That's the thing. They they just drop off, right? So uh yeah, I see you, Shirani. That's a wonderful, yeah. Big goals need big support. Uh, obviously, I see that we must be proactive. You guys are giving it to me. And of course, Jainaba says that one of her goals is health. And ladies, you can invite your friends, you know, to join in because this, what you say is really helpful. And of course, I did talk about what today is. And of course, we have since rebranded the event. Uh, it's to dream audaciously so that you can receive expectantly so thank you for sharing your things uh, your points here and again what Jenaba has says you know about ditching the relationships that are no longer working even the rocket has to do some of the propellers as it goes higher and higher and elevates you guys are speaking my language so let me take you through the seven transformative steps that have brought you here i'm gonna not literally talk about them. We've talked about number one already, defining your vision with specificity. You cannot be vague. And that's why I said, tell me one of the things that you want to happen in your life in the coming year 2024. What is it that you want to do? One of my clients, and she's going to be speaking at the event, she's literally writing her first book. And I was like, what specific, what's the book specifically meant to talk about? And we really had to go into the ins and outs of what the transformation or what the result has to be. So when you're writing your, def your vision, it has to be specific. And we're going to talk about um, what that looks like. And then another thing that is central, and I'm going to be having a one of my speakers who's going to be talking about overcoming self-doubt. She's going to be talking about building your self-confidence, really stepping into that mindset where your vision has no choice but to manifest. I'll be having a live um, uh, we're going to be doing a live stream together here on Facebook. Is it on Monday next week? Monday? Monday? Tuesday? No, sorry, it's, I think I'm doing every day, so don't worry. You'll know it's, I think, on Wednesday next week because we've already locked it in. So we'll be talking about how do you overcome self-doubt? How do you overcome those conflicting emotions and thoughts that crisscross your mind that will that prevent you from really um, living out your vision? Imposter syndrome. Is, is it a fluke that you're in the position that you're in? It's not. But many people think, I just, oh, it just landed on my plate. And many women go through imposter syndrome. We'll talk about that. And then, um, obviously, setting smart goals that align with the grandeur of your vision. So I'm going to talk a little bit into that as we go. And then, just so you know, um, we're going to help you create a framework or template for strategic planning of your vision. As I said, it's not a fluky process. It's, you, we don't wing it. We're not here to wing it. It's not try X. It's not you can't try, oh, let's hope it's going to. No, you are very intentional. And as I said, it's about specificity. It's about intention, intentionality and also commitment to the process. And then number five really is taking time out to retreat and craft the vision. Let me tell you, you cannot craft this vision when you're doing the same old, same old, running around school, school, uh, school run, drop the child, pick the child, da, 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 da. And then thinking in your head as you drive how the vision is, you have to set specific time, uh, time for that vision to be made manifest. You have to sit down and be like, you know what? I am strategically putting time aside for this. And then number six, as I said, big goals need uh, big support. So you need to get a support system that will hold you to account count, right? A support system that is going to show you how this thing is done and help sustain you through the year. So you're going to be held accountable. So even as I do this, I'm literally going to um, put my link for, but before I put my link, uh, just so that you can look at the event. So, and I'm going to take you through it right now, because this event is a non, like, honestly, um, I don't know if you can see in my 
screen. Let me just get the link. So funny, it's it's yeah. As I said, it, it's a virtual event. So you do it from you can tune in from wherever it is you are in your house, in your office. There is no excuse not to join me. Um, and the link is here. You can take a screenshot. Um, oops, I've cut. Is it cutting next level? Woman, I think I need to just cut part of it. Let me just put the link by itself so that you can look at it. Yeah, uh, we're at Alibad still before the rates go up next week i want you to take advantage of the early bad rate so this is the link i hope it comes properly now yeah so that's the registration details and i'm going to show it to you right now for those of you who are like what is she talking about the purposeful next level woman event and i'm gonna share with you what that looks like um right now so Let's do that. Let me know if you can see the event before I continue with. Just let me know you can see now see my event. Can you see that? Let me know. Yes, no. I mean two things. I believe it's showing. Yeah, so I'm just I just want to show you what the event page is like. Uh, December 8th to 10th, the Purposeful Next Level Virtual Vision Building Experience or Vision Casting Experience, whatever it is. If you're an ambitious, trailblazing, purposeful woman who's done feeling stuck in your current circumstances, remember we said, if you don't know your vision, it's going to perish, right? So you want to step into the full essence of who you are created to be. And if this is you, right, you know that, you, you know, there's a deep sense within you that you possess untapped potential, yet you find yourself settling for a life that falls short. Remember what I said at the beginning, you're living a good life, but you know you deserve great, right? Uh, you know, you know that you need in your head, you felt that you should have made much more significant progress in your life journey by now. Right. Do you feel like your daily existence is be beginning to be to feel like an, an inspiring and repetitive cycle, lacking the vibrancy and excitement you long for? If this is you, you need to join us on those three days. Right. Do you yearn for a kaleidoscope of color to infuse, infuse your world as everything around you seems to be in? painted in dull monotonous shades you need some life some life into your life you need to join us i'm not going to go through all this because you can read them but also understanding that you know perhaps you have a grand ambitions but the daunting question of where to begin paralyzes your progress we are still in the post-pandemic era so many, many people are still drained they're still burnt out they're still tired with everything that's happening in the world right now you need a a profound emotional detox, detox, then you need to join this event. And then also you've gone through those persistent voices of self-doubt. You have that unforgiving uh, inner critic and limiting beliefs that keep you in a state of inertia. And then also, do you find yourself wary of making the same declarations each year? Oh, I'm going to do this. And then the year comes in year in, year out, and they remain unfulfilled. If you answered yes to any of these questions, it's time for you to turn the page and craft the vision of your most empowered and liberated life now. So you have everything, as Cindy Trim says, to prosper and increase in this season, but you need to set your vision in motion. I've written a whole story of what that looks like, and I've been talking about this. And right now, we are at Alibad rate, which is $177 um, for the three days. This is a non-negotiable rate to help you craft the vision of your most empowered and liberated life. And in Kenya shillings, it's there and you have the link for your M-Pesa payment for those who want to pay in shillings. In dollars, you can directly go to the link. And I just want to say this, these three day virtual experiences for you, if you're ready to not just craft a vision for the year ahead, but to also align with it. I say this all the time. You must align it with your calling. You must uh, align it with your soul's true purpose. Neglecting your life's purpose will stifle 
your soul's growth. So you need to give space for your soul to grow. And that's why this experience is not a couple of hours. It's three days that you put in. You yearn to make space in your life to receive what your soul truly craves, paving the way for a year filled with joy and fulfillment. And again, you are an enthusiastic person. I said your vision will propel you forward. You're enthusiastic about making intentional and transformative changes to propel your life forward. And you are prepared to leave indecision behind and boldly declare your unapologetic life ambitions without reservations. And then you know that once and for all, you want to stop to stop second guessing your choices and awaken those dormant dreams. Remember what we said, what, uh, what to perish means to die. So those dormant dreams need to be resuscitated and awakened. So everything I'm saying is making sense because it leads to what I just read to you, ladies. So if you're thinking that you want to have ideal outcomes in your life, you need a dedicated space for this. So this means getting crystal clear, absolute clarity on your deepest desires, as I said, whether it's writing a book, embracing a minimal, minimalist lifestyle, finding a life partner, launching or scaling your business, relocating, moving to another country, healing your past, renovating your home, being a philanthropist, whatever it is, this event will empower you to align with your heart's truest desires. And then I want you to know that you're going to get much needed accountability here because the supportive community I have created of like-minded high vibe women, it's not jealous women, it's not envious women, it's not bitchy women, it's not sad women, it's not desperate women. It's women like you who are, truly want to support each other on the path to fulfillment, significance, and freedom. And then also we'll use this space to help you process and shed your internal barriers. I'll help you overcome those limiting, debilitating thought patterns that have held you back. It's time to say goodbyes, right for me, goodbye to those obstacles that may be hindering your vision into uh, from manifesting. And then obviously you'll deeply understand what it takes to take inspired aligned action to bring all these things and to help and to not only to bring them to a pass, but to surpass your wildest expectations. So if you're ready, obviously that's the link. And you know, this is what happens when you click the link. You know, I love this Rumi quote. It says, live life as if everything is rigged in your favor. And before I go to the presentation, I'll show you. So when you go to the site that I've shared with you, you're just gonna click here, register here, and it takes you to the page, right? Uh, so you'd put in your name and details, right? So my details would be there, Joanne Oturi, whatever. And then um, put in my details. I'm not going to put my, click on credit card um, here. If you want to pay your card, you put your credit card details. I'm not going to put mine for obvious reasons. And then the month date and the CVC number, which is the three uh, number, three digit code. And you click on register. And if you want to join a program called Picture Perfect 2024, this is optional. You want to take advantage of this offer of $97 because it's going to go to $197. You'd click that. Again, this is not a must, right? It's it's an additional offer. It will come to a total of $274 for the Purposeful Next Level Woman and the Picture Perfect 2024 program, which is a 21 day blueprint for an unforgettable new year. And this happens after the event. So uh, before the event, it's 97. After that, it, turned, it goes to 197. And if it's in Kenya shillings, you have the early bird rate for the event there. And then you add the Picture Perfect at 14,700. Total will be 41,400. But for just the event, it's the $177, right? Or the 26,700. So I just wanted to say um, that. So just wanted to show you that bit because um, that will help somebody who is looking to be like, okay, how do I get, how did I, how do I go to that place, right? How do I uh, sign up for it? So I've shown you. And then of course, uh, we, uh, event at a glance, these are the timings. Some of you have asked me the timings. Again, from the comfort of your own home, it's online. So Thursday, we'll do the virtual check-in. This is just for me to know who's coming in, that you're in. Then Friday, we start. So we start at 9 a.m. my time, UK time to 3 p.m. And for those in East Africa, it would be 12 p.m to 6 p.m. in the evening East African time. We may go a little bit up, just a bit uh, over, but um, 6.30 at the latest, 3.30. And for those in the in the U.S. Eastern time zone, you start at 4 a.m. and you will finish at about 10 a.m. Eastern. So it's not too bad, 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then um, 
that's on the, on the Friday, the same on the Saturday. And on Sunday, again, the same timing. Remember, uh, if you know, it's it's an event. It's mimics a live event. So you, you have to pick your kids. You do it your life. But just know this is the time that it's happening. We have breaks in between. We have uh, virtual breakout rooms. We have all sorts of activities. So it's going to be literally just fly, right? And then, obviously, I've put the day's agenda, uh, event agenda. Day one is, to, is where we're going to align, discover the harmony of your goals, vision, and values. And, of course, you can really look into this. The first is when I go deep into um, the elevating your mindset and the healing and resilience uh, stuff, helping you get, see, look back and see what was the year like and then helping you align with what you want for 2024. The second theme of day two is ignite. And here we're going to have me helping ignite your latent potential. Here we reignite and activate your potential and purpose for a year of unprecedented achievement. Right from in the chat, unprecedented achievement. We also have the holistic talk on that day uh, with the amazing Felicia and then uh, we also have a workshop where we'll have the Purposeful Next Level Woman panel, which will comprise of amazing women who will just really share their stories, their challenges, their triumphs on this journey of creating a purposeful vision for their life. And then day three is where we go into thrive. So we have uh, aligned, we have ignited, and then now we are stepping into the thrive mode on day three. So here I'm going to do the workshop where I'm going to take you on unwavering uh, and unprecedented, unprecedented support. And then we're going to talk about the power of networking. And on this day, it's not here, is where we're going to have our uh, parenting coach come in as well right so what do you get you get so much you're not gonna even go into this because i've been talking about but you're gonna get so much value out of this virtual ticket it's all listed there three days of vision casting mindset and goal setting workshops different speakers dedicated time for journaling and reflection a detailed planning process that i'll take you through live q a with me you get a beautiful retreat workbook. I mean, there's so much. You get journaling prompts, you have the Facebook group, you get an exclusive uh, curated selection of songs for your Spotify uh, that you can listen to. There's so much that you're going to get. So I'm not, I'm not really going to go, you know, read everything here, but I just want you to know that spaces are filling up really fast, so act quickly. And you know, as you listen to me, you know if it's for you, right? And don't procrastinate. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to sign up the day after tomorrow. Part of being a visionary is like, this is a time. I'm doing it now. I'm not procrastinating. I'm not pushing it forward, right? And do it because it's possible for you to really achieve the things you want and sooner than you might think. Because I've experienced this as I've supported hundreds upon hundreds of my clients, my students to do the same. So come and let's dare, dream audaciously, receive expectantly, um, for a bigger and bolder 2024. If you want to know who I am, what I stand for, you can read all this section. I'm not going to read it for you, but all I want you to know is the last statement, right? Actually, this statement here, Joanne creates a safe space for women across the globe to discover their hidden dreams and reignite the dormant ones. Her leading mantra is when you're not honoring your life purpose, you're suffocating your soul. And my philosophy in life is here. When you discover your life purpose, everything changes. Life becomes more meaningful and fulfilling. My desire is that every woman gets to live her one royal life with boldness and courage. And that's what it is that we are doing in those three days. So I really hope that this um, has given you an indicator uh, for what that looks like. So back to where we were, we were at, um, uh, let me know if you can see. The slides, let me just um, take this down for now. Um, the, the, trans, the seven transformative steps have shown you why it's important for you to get, right? that support system. I've talked about these things as I've taken laid, you, laid down for you what that could potentially look like. And to understand that your vision right, is non-negotiable. And I said to you, say this at the beginning, my vision is non-negotiable. Or is non-negotiable. It has to happen. It has to uh, to 
to take place. And that goes to Habakkuk 2, 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. So that means it is already appointed for your vision to come to pass. That's why it's a non-negotiable. But at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Your vision will never lie. Your vision will always be truthful because it has been appointed to happen. Though it tarries, that means though it takes longer than you anticipate, wait for it it will come to pass. I want, like Beatrice has said, goodbye to my obstacles because when you make your vision an unnegotiable and you say that even though it's tiring, even though it's tiring, even though it's taking longer than it should, it will still come to pass. And you align with that vision by attending these three days and setting the, the groundwork for it to happen. Believe you me, it will happen. So I want you to be so confident and I want you to say, I am confident my vision shall come to pass. Say that in the chat. You have to speak it out loud for it to come into manifestation because listen, <laughs> there's a common denominator between your past, your present and your future. That is you. Stop blaming circumstances. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming people, places and things. Oh, if I was in, not living in Kenya, if I was not living in America, if I was not living, if my parent or my child or my ex-husband or my partner did not do this to me, my life would be different. You know, you're blaming circumstances, you're blaming things, you're blaming everything, right? You're, you're annoyed at the cat, you're annoyed at the dog, you're frustrated by life. Let me tell you this, my darlings, you have to be a point, there has to be a point in your life where you take full responsibility for your life, Anne. I love it. Anne says, I'm confident my vision will come to pass. You take full radical responsibility for your life. It's your life. That's why I say your one royal life. Live it with boldness and courage. If I was to blame people for my life, I'd have very many people to blame. But I take full responsibility for where my life is right now. Because guess what? Who can change it? Me. Those people have their lives. Me, I have mine. And the common de denominator between your past, your present, and your future is you. And when you re realize that, you will change your, your posture about how you treat life, how you treat people, how you respond to situations. You will not be reactive. You will not be you know, going crazy at people, losing your cool. You will be, you will respond with love. You will respond differently because you know what? You'll be like, you know what? The person, the only person I'm in control of is me. Write that for me in the chat. The only person I'm in control of is me. I'm not in control of other people. So this is a five-step framework I'm going to take you through to make your visions come to life. Number one is the self-reflection and clarity, which I've taken you through, your, you through as I've spoken. Self-reflection and clarity. Begin by reflecting on your values, your passions, and your long-term goals. What do I want my life to stand for? What do I want to see happen in my life? Clarify your vision by identifying what truly matters to you and the impact you want to make. Let me tell you, it's not about me. My purpose is not about me. My purpose is about everyone else that is attached to my calling. And all I am is a conduit. All I am is a vessel that God has set aside to use. And when I realize that, I do not play with that calling. It's not a joke. There's someone's life that is attached to me showing up. And that's the same thing with you. There's someone else who is praying every day for an Ann. Someone is praying for a Beatrice. Someone is praying for a Jainaba. Someone is praying for a Jerry. Someone is praying for a Juliana. Someone is praying every single day. When will this person come and show up so that they can help me step into whatever it is that I'm meant to be? But because you're not showing up, you're denying them of their vision. So you really need to understand that your vision is not just for you. Your vision is to support other people. And the moment you realize that, you will be less selfish with your, with, with your time. You'll be less selfish with your gifts. You'll be less selfish with your skills and experiences because you will, if the moment you know that they're there to liberate other people, you will change how you, you behave. Do you understand what I mean? Right for me, yes, if you get what I mean. And then number two, we need to set goals that are smart. And some of you are rolling your eyes. Yeah, yeah, smart, smart. But yes, yeah, smart. Smart may sound cliche, but it's not. They need to be specific. A vision requires specificity. It has to be measurable. Your goals need to be measurable. They need to have, you, you know, they're, they're not, not just ad hoc goals. And we go deep into this in the event. Achievable. Don't throw things out there, numbers out there for the sake. Oh, it's going to be a $1 million year. How are you going to get that $1 million into your business? 
it's not just saying words and throwing them out there. There has to be an action plan that will, you know, make it happen. And that's why I'm talking about. They also have to be achievable. If you've not brought in $1,000 into your business, how are you shooting for $1 million? You have to be, to, to be serious, right, about what's the plan that you're taking to make this a, a reality. And then relevant, right? How relevant are your dreams? How relevant is it? to where you're at right now. Because you could be making all these dreams but they're completely off where you're at in your life right now. Maybe you have a small baby, right? Or you're in a situation where your life is changing. You're going through maybe a tough time. You're going through a divorce or going something. How you set those goals matters based on where you're at. You cannot do things that will add extra stress or too much pressure in a, in a radio situation that's not easy. So you really have to understand the relevance of your goals to what's happening in your life. Understanding that we are always evolving. And then time bound. They're not forever. It's not forever. You have to say this is a start, this is the, the end. And then breaking down this vision into smaller actionable steps so that they can be manageable. And that's number two. Then number three is create the action plan. Now that you've set the goals, let's have an action plan. And that's what we do in these three days. I help you develop a detailed plan, outlining the tasks and the milestones. They have to be milestones that you will meet and you'll be like, you know what? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Right? So what's a milestone? Milestone is that thing you see. I started here and then say uh, the first four pounds I lost, two kilos. I was like, wow, that's my first milestone. I want to lose four pounds. So you have to have a milestone for every goal. And then you need to prioritize your tasks based on their impact on your vision. Right? So we do this in clarity. I show you what is urgent, what's not urgent, what needs to be pushed aside and then set deadlines for completion. Let me know if you're if you're getting this right. This I'm getting this in the chat. So I can know we are together. And then the fourth part of the framework is building a support system. I've talked about this over and over again. Surrounding yourself with like-minded women who share your vision and who can provide invaluable insights to help you work with mentors, work with coaches, work with people who get it and who align with your aspirations. And then number five is that this we do often. We do what is called a regular review and adaptation because sometimes you change, you're evolving. Regularly review your progress against your goals and make adjustments as needed. You know, sometimes I go through my goals and I'm like, mm, this one, let's tweak it a little right? Stay flexible. You have to be flexible. You have to be open to refining your vision based on your changing circumstances because our circumstances change, right? So be ready to have that regular review and adaptation. So that's a framework for the vision planning process, right? And then I want to ask you right now, just say yes or no. Are you ready to create your 2024 vision? I've talked about this in depth, but I want you to know that a vivid and passionate vision of where you desire to be is difficult to attain if you don't have a plan to get you there. And that's why December 8th, 9th, and 10th is the date that you need to set aside to help you get there. And then this vision casting process, this vision plan I help you do, it has the right elements that will enhance the passion in you to make your vision a reality. I cannot want it more than you want it for yourself. I want you to be in that state as you listen to me where you're like, I really want this thing to happen. You're running your own race and I'm your cheerleader. And I'm like, girl, we can do this, right? Like this woman, the way she's like, we can do this, we can do this, we can do. And you know, you have that support system to help you get there. And I love what Beatrice says. She says that she's confident that her vision will come to pass. And you know what, Beatrice, you're already attending the event. So I am also very confident that with the support that we're going to give you in those three days, your vision shall definitely come to pass. So I want you to be a purposeful next level woman of vision. What does this mean? You're aligning your actions with a clear purpose, right? You are setting clear and strategic goals that are aligned with this vision. So you're not just setting random goals. And I've talked about that. They have to be smart. And I've broken that down for you. And then you need to prioritize ongoing personal development and learning. You know, people do one little course. They are one little course. And they're like, oh, for, I've finished my personal development. This is something that I'm going to, I'm a lifelong learner to the day that God calls me home many, 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 many years from now. Right? I will be a lifelong learner. 
right? Because I prioritize ongoing personal development and learning, and that's how you become a purposeful next level woman of vision. You align your actions with a clear purpose. You set clear and strategic goals, and I teach you how to do this. And then you prioritize ongoing personal development and learning, and that's why you're setting aside time to do this work. You're going into a retreat. You're coming into a space of retreating where I hold you accountable. And then We've talked about this setting smart goals, but let me go through this. And this is Felicia. She's one of our, my amazing speakers. I said I have to use Felicia's photo. Isn't she lovely? So number one specific is we are going to clearly define the desired outcome or objective in a de detailed and precise manner. And then measurable is we're going to establish criteria or indicators that can be used to evaluate and quantify that you're making progress towards the goal. It has to be measurable. And then achievable, you're setting goals that are realistic and attainable within the given resources, skills, and limitations, because we all have limitations. Your limitations could be limitations of time, could be limitations of energy, could be limitations of money, right? But you need to understand what your limitations are and then how we turn it around. So how can I make more money? How can I get more energy? How can I make more time? Because those are the three things people struggle with mainly as women. I don't have the time. We're going to tackle that. I don't have the money. How do we help you make the money? My energy levels are depleted. How do I help you get back your energy back? It, you have to do the work. It just doesn't fall into your lap. It's work that has to be consciously done. And then relevance, right? Ensure that the goal is aligned with your broader objectives, your priorities, and your overall purpose and vision, right? You're not doing things willy-nilly, right? It's relevant. And then timely, set a specific timeline or, team, or deadline to achieving that goal. So you need to give it a sense of urgency and focus. And that's what we do uh, during our time together. As you can tell, it's not some random little thing I'm doing with you ladies. We are taking this work seriously. We are going deep, right? I tell, I say this all the time. We are not going wide because most people teach people to go wide. Wide is not helping you. We need to go deep, right? We are going deep because when you go deep, Deep is when you get into the depth, the ins and outs of what you really want to achieve. Wide is general. Deep is aligned. Deep is focused. Deep is what accomplishes results. Oprah says the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. And how do you live the life of your dreams? By really step, by really casting that vision, praying into it, and knowing that even though the vision tarries, the vision is for an appointed time. If something is appointed, it means it has to happen. Appointed means it has to happen. It's for an appointed time, though it tarry, though it delays, it shall come to pass. And I want you to understand that the biggest adventure you can take is this. Setting time aside for yourself so that you can create the life that you want to step into, right? And as Beatrice says, this is what she says, that the only person I'm responsible for is me. And those other people in your life, they, the only people they're responsible for is them. And when you realize that, you become a free woman. You're a liberated woman because no one is shackling you or holding you back. Because in your head, you're like, hmm, not on me. Not no, not my monkey, not my circus. The only monkey and circus I'm working on and operating on is my one. I'm not going to go poking my nose into other people's business. I'm going to live my one royal life with boldness and courage. And I'm going to work on working on me. I can't change another individual. That individual has their own way of thinking, their own way of behaving, their own systems. Their own, but you can work on you continuously. You're a masterpiece in progress. And the moment you recognize that, you can change yourself not other people, not other people. Do you get my point? Once you see, you, you know, once you get these things, you, things will shift for you. So as I said, you know, I've talked about this already. This is your invitation. Uh, if you want to transform your vision into reality, join me for these three days. This is your exclusive ticket to unlocking the potential within you and charting a course for a purpose-driven, empowered life. Why do you need to be in the room? As I said, you're going to get transformational insights. Uh, from expert speakers, from me and a lot of other speakers that will elevate your mindset and strategies that are relevant for your life right now. You're going to have interactive workshops, uh, and, you know, hands-on workshops that are designed to bring clarity to your vision and set the wheels in motion towards your ambitious and actionable goals coming to full fruition. To fruition. And then, of course, community connection. You're going to be with other like-minded, ambitious women where we're going to 
uh, create a sense of collaboration and growth. So what, if this is what you want, you want the insights, you want interaction, you want community connection, you're in the right space. And this is your personal invite. I've given you the information. It is there, you know, check it out. Uh, that's the link, uh, bit.ly, Purposeful Next Level Woman. Uh, you can take a screenshot of it. And, uh, you know, December 8th to 8th to 10th, we'll be really hitting the ground running for those three days. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for the last one hour, 15 minutes. I thought I'd keep it to an hour, but I'll be coming back again for another vibrant training. Um, I'll be doing a webinar this time on, on the, on, what, I'm gonna put up the information just now, but I'm just trying to tell you what the topic is. It's the topic that I was to do today and I decided to, to change it to next week, where I'm taking you through the yeah the six vision foundations that are so that are pertinent for you to live a life of purpose, something like that. But you're gonna see it, and um, I'm really keen to teach. So take time to you know look out for the I'm gonna the flyers and everything are ready for that. I'm gonna be setting this up. But I pray that this session has been insightful for you. And I thank you for joining me on this mini training. If you don't follow me on social media, please do. My Instagram is at purpose underscore cultivator because I help you cultivate your purpose. Joanne Maturi on Facebook. You can see this is my Facebook. Um again you can see Joanne Maturi Life Makeover Coach. So those of you on, on YouTube you can follow me on Facebook as well. And then obviously to check for the event information is bit.ly purposeful next level woman it has been a delight it has been an honor it has been just a joy for me to teach you today and i can tell you for a fact that um, this information is information that will help people so if you have enjoyed today's session let me come back oh there i am if you've enjoyed today's session please um it's showing, it's there on, on YouTube, it's on Facebook. You can invite your friends. And as Facebook user says, she wants to dream audaciously, she can receive expect, expectantly. And I want you to, to walk in that same posture that you have everything it takes to live a life of purpose, a life that is significant, and a life that will impact and alter the lives of those that have been assigned to you. This is not a joke. This is not something that we are playing around with. This is your life. Take it seriously. And that's why I call it your one royal life, right? You get to live it with boldness and with courage. But if you're, if you're not fully, fully expressing yourself, you're suffocating and stifling yourself. And what we're going to do in this event is those three things. We're going to work on aligning you into your proper calling. We're going to walk into igniting you and charging you and activating you for what, for what it really means to live a meaningful and intentional life. And then the third thing is releasing you to go to flourish and thrive in your purpose and your calling. So it's going to be an exciting three days, December 8th, 9th and 10th. Invite a friend if you haven't already and know that, you know, miracles happen in motion, but not only in motion, miracles happen when you also take that step to support the vision that you want to see. And, and by doing that is, as I said, you place a demand on your faith by taking the necessary actions that will move you forward. So I'll leave it at that. It has been a pleasure. I will see you tomorrow as, uh, no, tomorrow I'm away. I'm in a conference tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday um, on Instagram Live. This has been awesome. And of course, I am so glad that you got to watch. You can watch it over and over again. Um, send, give the information to this um, uh, YouTube link to your friends. And if you're on my email list, I'm also going to send it to you guys so that you can be able to watch it over and over again and to invite people who will benefit from it. So thank you everyone for joining me. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whichever side of the world you are streaming in from. Thank you so much and take care. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do hit the subscribe uh, button. It goes a long way towards building my one of my vision is to grow my baby YouTube channel into a grown up YouTube channel. So I know that you, my darlings, will support me in doing that. All right. So subscribe, hit subscribe and like um, this video. It does go a long way. So thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.